This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review heard in the Crude Life Media Network. Today we talk with Walter Breidenstein, Chairman of Gas Techno Now Energy and Fuels Group, about gas gathering technologies in Shale Play USA. It seems everywhere I go these days, someone is telling me about the success of Hatch Coaching. Listen to what professional speaker Mark J. Lindquist has to say. He is a person in this market and now in markets across the country with Hatch Coaching that is revolutionizing the way people approach the business. He's reinventing the way people look at the people model. That's why he brings in hundreds of people from all over the country who are trying to figure out how to do what he's doing in their market. For more information, call 701-212-1572 or visit coachingwithhatch.com. That's coachingwithhatch.com. Welcome back to the Mondak Oilfield Review. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, Walter Bridenstine, Chairman of Gas Techno Energy and Fuels Group. I think the big issue up here is that oil companies don't typically like to venture into new technologies. And so G2 it has been the pioneer uh, largely up here. Others have also come and gone, but G2 it is a first class operation and and they've been able to uh, demonstrate successfully to a number of their um, clients and, and operators that, that they can do it. And so that's given uh, uh, a positive um feedback to the industry that, you know, processing on site uh, can be done. Preferably, all the oil companies would rather just sell pipeline gas. And it's simple. Uh, Once they tie in, they've got access to the pipeline. They don't have to worry about uh, on-site processing and the additional equipment and and the uh, issues that go along with on-site processing. However, in the last, uh, say, 12 months, um, as more drilling has come into play and the, and the well pads are getting larger, you know, three, four, five, eight, ten wells per pad, as they look at these <clears throat> multiple well pads, you have a significant uh, volume of associated gas that comes with the oil, and the pipelines are full. So even if you tie into a pipeline, the chance of being able to <laughs> sell your gas through the pipeline is a challenge. And so these operators, uh, even though they prefer to have pipeline access, because of the overwhelming volume of gas that's being uh, put into these pipelines, you might find wells that actually, uh, in certain areas in the reservation and so forth, they they will sell gas 25% of the time and flare 75% of the time, even with pipeline access. To listen to the full-length interview with Walter Bridenstine, Chairman of Gas Techno Energy and Fuels Group, or to listen to other Mondak Oil Field reviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. The Mondak Oil Field Review is part of the Crude Life Media Network. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. All of those social media links are available at thecrudelife.com. From the staff at the Mondak Oil Field Review, my name is Jason Spies, asking you to be happy, be safe, and keep it turning to the right. Mm-hmm.